Hello everybody! Today, before we start our lesson, I want each one of you to reflect on how people earn money. Take a few minutes to think of the five names of people in your community and reflect on how they earn a living. Then, write down your answers and discuss among yourselves. I am sure some of your responses are they earn a living through employment, they run a shop, they farm, or they have some other businesses. Now look at how you earn a living. I, for example, earn a living through training people. These are all different ways to earn a living and have advantages and disadvantages. Today, let's look at entrepreneurship. I'm sure you've seen several people run businesses. Sometimes these people look like you, sometimes they look like me. They look like businessmen and businesswomen. In some other instances, they may look like you or me. Now on a piece of paper or in your mind, list down five entrepreneurs in your community. The question is, are they any different from us? Obviously, the answer is no. Entrepreneurs are people like us, but they have very distinct characteristics. Now, what do you think these characteristics are? Entrepreneurs are organized and they're able to turn an idea into a business plan. When you're an entrepreneur, you can change your financial world by turning your thoughts into money, into ventures that earn money. Entrepreneurs utilize every opportunity within their reach to make small or large fortunes. Now, the second characteristic is that entrepreneurs think like a leopard. They have precise aims when doing business. A leopard is focused and fast when it has a aim. It makes sure it achieves exactly what it wants to. As an entrepreneur, you must make sure you have an aim and a reason for being in your business. You also have to be very clear on what it means to be in that business. For example, if you want to venture into furniture making, you will have to know that you shall make sure your timber supplier has a valid permit from the forestry department, without which the government would not allow you to operate your business. Another characteristic is that entrepreneurs are risk takers. While you know that the aim of being in your business is to make profits, sometimes life in business may take a twist due to things that are difficult to foresee. As an entrepreneur, you must have confidence and courage to face risk and work hard to minimize those risks from becoming reality. Entrepreneurs must be creative and try to do business differently from their competitors. You have to think outside of the box and find out how your competition is doing. Entrepreneurs also capitalize on the weaknesses of their competitors. Entrepreneurs must always have discipline in the way they handle money in order to avoid getting into financial trouble and potential bankruptcy. If you're an entrepreneur, you must always know where to put your capital and where to keep your profits. The two should never be kept in the same box. As an entrepreneur, you must always create and maintain good relationships with your suppliers, customers, and fellow entrepreneurs. If you are an entrepreneur, you must always remember that your customer is king. Entrepreneurs must have good communication skills and be able to follow through business transactions. An entrepreneur may have been through schooling, but also those who have little or no formal education can be successful entrepreneurs. The key is that they should be able to fulfill a customer's need through their business. Entrepreneurs must always apply good tactics in dealing with customers. Just like people are not the same, each customer is unique in their own way. Entrepreneurs must know how to handle each and every customer as they come with their business. Entrepreneurs are very passionate about their work. So when they work, they enjoy what they're doing and stay highly motivated. Passion acts as a driving force with which you're motivated to strive for better. It also allows you the ability to put in those extra hours which can make a difference. At the beginning of every entrepreneurial venture, or any kind of venture, these are hurdles but your passion ensures that you're able to overcome these roadblocks and push ahead towards your goal. Entrepreneurial professionalism is a quality which all good entrepreneurs must possess. An entrepreneur's behavior with their employees and clientele goes a long way in developing culture of their business. When an entrepreneur is professional, they become very reliable and very disciplined. Self-discipline is so key in achieving your targets. Reliability results in trust, and for most ventures, trust in the partner is what keeps the people in the business motivated and willing to put in their best. An entrepreneur must be open-minded to realize which situation or event can be a useful opportunity. To recognize such openings, an open-minded attitude is required. An entrepreneur should be determined. They should face losses with a positive attitude and wins very humbly. Any good entrepreneur will know not to run on defeat. Try to you succeed is the right mentality. Failure is a step that didn't work according to plan. Entrepreneurs take experience of the setback and work hard with the next goal in mind. New information always makes an entrepreneur question their current resolve. It provides a new perspective towards a particular aspect. Open-mindedness also enables entrepreneurs to know and learn from competition. As an entrepreneur, you should know the strengths and weaknesses of every employee who works for you. You must understand that it is the people who make the business tick. As an entrepreneur, you have to demonstrate empathy towards your employees. Unhappy employees are a recipe for business failure. To look after their well-being, 
an entrepreneur should try to understand the situation of their employees. What can be a motivation factor? How can I make my employees want to give their best to this business? All this is understood through empathy. Keeping a workplace positive is essential, for without empathy, an entrepreneur cannot reach the hearts of employees, nor the success you or they desire. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from our discussion above, you will notice that an entrepreneur has lots of characteristics. If you do not have some of this, do not get worried. You will develop them as we go. Now, look at your entrepreneurial list again. Do you recognize the qualities we discussed in the entrepreneurs in your list? And what about you? You agree with me that you have some of these qualities that can make you an entrepreneur and start earning a better living. Now, before we go today, let us answer the following questions. If you can't answer them, go back and watch this video again. You can send us your answers and your questions anytime. Question number one, entrepreneurship is only open to men. Is this statement true or false? False. Anyone can be an entrepreneur with the right education, skills and commitment. Number two, who is an entrepreneur? Now pick the answers that you think are right. An entrepreneur is a business person. B, an employee. C, anyone who wants to offer a product or service in exchange for money. Both options A and C are right. A business person or anyone who can offer a product or a service in exchange for money can be considered an entrepreneur. Now name any three characteristics of a successful entrepreneur. Successful entrepreneurs may have characteristics including good communication skills, determination and professionalism. Question number four. Can a person who hasn't received formal education become an entrepreneur? Entrepreneurship is open to anybody. In fact, many successful entrepreneurs have dropped out of school at a very young age. But you need the right attitude, skills, knowledge to support your entrepreneurship journey. We hope this course will provide you with those foundations you need to succeed as an entrepreneur.